hello everyone in this video we will look at the motion category and we will look at the first seven code blocks of the motion category in detail one by one so the motion category is used because we want to move our sprite in any position let's say x and y position on our screen now let's first look at this move 10 steps so from the previous tutorials we already know that move 10 steps will move our sprite forward by 10 steps but the question is why does it move only forward why not up down or at the back and the main reason for that is that the move block behind the scene actually depends on something called a direction we can see here on the right hand side we have a direction which is set to 90 and if I click on it I can actually see that it's actually set at the 90 angle or 90 degree and that 90 degree is basically moving forward so if I click on the move 10 steps it will move forward but let's say if I set this to something like 120 and now it's facing downwards and now if I click this move 10 steps we can see that it's going down now if I set its direction to let's say 0 which is exactly upwards and now if I move 10 steps we can see that it's moving upwards now I'll set its direction back to 90 degrees which is forward and I'll also set the X and Y coordinates to 0 which is our origin as well now to delete this move 10 steps there are two ways I can click the delete block button by right clicking it or I can also drag this code block to the area where all the code blocks are now let's look at this turn 15 degrees now if I click this turn 15 degrees I'll actually see that when I click this my direction will be increased by 15 so currently our direction is set at 90 but if I click this we can see that now it's 105 so basically it adds 15 degrees to the direction now again if I click this the direction is currently 105 but after clicking this it will be set 220 so basically this code blocks changes our degree as forward position it goes it basically adds to direction now if I delete this and if I add the turn 15 degrees but this time in opposite direction so we'll see that it will actually deduct 15 degrees from the direction so currently it's set 220 and if I click it it's 105 and if I click it again it will set to 90 so if you ever want to change the direction of your sprite we can use these two quad blocks turn forward 15 degrees or turn basically negative 15 degrees now if we look at this go to random position quad block there are actually two things you can do you can either set the position as random or you can also set it as mouse pointer now first let's look at this random position so if I click this go to random position what we'll see that our sprite will move to any random position on our screen so if I click this we can see that it went to any random position and we don't know that random position and if I click it again it goes to another random position but we can obviously see that the position from X and Y here and if I click it again it will again go to a random position but now let's say if I choose mouse pointer what this will actually do is it will actually follow me where my mouse pointer is now to make this code work I will bring the when green flag clicked as well as I'll also bring the forever block now we'll look at this forever block later for now we'll focus on just this go to mouse pointer so if I run this code you can see that wherever my mouse is going my mouse pointer is going my sprite is falling there so basically this code block will do that now I'll stop it and I will 
delete the whole code block and now we'll look at this go to x and y now here we have two parameters and we can actually set the x position to, to some value and y position to some value and if i click this we can see that our sprite moves to that exact location so if we want to move to exact location we can use this code block but if you want to go to any random position or want to maybe allow our sprite to follow mouse pointer we can use this other code block now i'll delete this and we'll look at this glide one second to random position now even this glide allows us to use random position as well as mouse pointer and the main difference between go to and glide is that glide is going to allow our sprite to move in a smooth way from one point to another it would be like an animation so if i click this you'll see that it slowly goes to one position to another but if i use this go to it will move to the other location immediately so basically that's the difference between the go to and glide and now if i want to use the mouse pointer on it i'll again bring the when green flag clicked and the forever loop and if i run my code i can see that my sprite follows the mouse pointer now we do have another option here we can set the second parameter to some value as well in this case i'll set two and what this means that my sprite will take two seconds to move to the mouse pointer so if i click this again you can see that it's moving a bit slowly and that's because i've set the seconds to two now i'll delete this and we'll go to the motion block again and this time i'll choose glide one second to x comma y so if i know the x and y coordinates if i exactly know where i have to move i can use either glide or either go to now again the difference between those two are that glide is like an animation it moves smoothly from one point to another and go to will just directly move it immediately so if i use glide and if i click on it we can see that it smoothly moves from one point to another now in this video we have learned about these seven blocks the first seven blocks of motion if you have any questions or you didn't understood anything just comment below and i'll try to answer as soon as possible Thank you.